In this video, I'm gonna show you the best way to organize your Premiere Pro projects. Stick around. Tyler here from Video Editing with Tyler White, and if you wanna learn how to edit video like a pro, start off with subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. Probably one of the most important things when it comes to editing video is organization. Organization is gonna speed up your workflow significantly because you're able to find the things that you're looking for easily. So typically what I'll do is I'll go inside of my external hard drive and I'm just gonna create a new folder and I'm gonna title that folder whatever the name of my project is going to be. Then what I'll do here inside of my external hard drive, I have a folder that I use for every single project and I'm doing folders for all projects. I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna press Command A to select all of the folders within that folder. And just press Command C to copy all those folders. And then I'm gonna go back to that project. I'm gonna open it up and paste those folders inside of there. I use these folders here for every single project that I work on. So this first folder here is gonna be for your project files. So whenever I go inside of Premiere Pro, I'll go to New Project, go to Browse. Then I'm going to locate that folder that I created, How to Organize in Premiere Pro. And then I'm just gonna go down to this project files folder here and click choose. Then I can go ahead and title this whatever I want and then just press okay. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna put that project file inside of this folder and any autosave will go inside of this folder here. That way it's not going onto my actual computer. For the video, this is where I'm gonna put all of my video files inside of here. Audio is gonna be for any external audio that I might have for that video. The music and sound effects folder is pretty much self-explanatory. Any sound effects or any music that I use is gonna go inside of that folder there. Any GFX or graphics that I use is gonna go inside of this folder here. And anything else that is additional to that video, I'm gonna put inside of the miscellaneous folder. Once I've exported my video, I'm gonna make sure that I save and I export it to this finals folder here. So whenever I click on this folder here, I can go in and I find my final video product. It also helps me narrow down specific project files, clips, or audio, or anything like that that I may have used for this project. Now I'm gonna show you how to stay organized here inside of Premiere Pro. So first thing I'm gonna do is what I like to do is go down here. You can see I have video, I also have some audio, as well as some music. So the first thing I like to do is create bins. So the first bin that I create is gonna be for the clips. So I'm just gonna click those two clips and drag those into the clips folder. Then I'm gonna create another one for audio. And this will just be strictly for that external audio that I have. Drag it in there. And then the last bin that I create is gonna be for music. And I will click these two songs here, click and drag them into the music folder. So now everything is kind of separated into different categories. Additionally, what I like to do to keep the clips even more organized is if you have various different scenes for different clips, what I'll do is I'll label them. So all you have to do to do that is right click on that specific clip that you want for that scene, go down to label, and then you can just pick whatever color you wanna label it. So I wanna label this one blue. And then the other clips that are not in that scene, you can do the same thing. Go down to label, right click, go down to whatever color you want it to be and change it to a different color. So I know the video one clips are the outdoor scenes and video two clips are the indoor scenes. You can also go down here and kind of change this around. You can keep it this way if you like, that way you just double click on it. You can open up files if you wanna do it that way. You can use the list view or the icon view, or you can do the freeform view, whichever one works out best for you. I typically use the list view because I like to be able to see everything right in front of me. If you wanna drop these clips on the timeline, you can see whenever you drop them onto the timeline that they're two different colors as well. So the one that you labeled green is actually that green color. And then the one that you labeled blue is actually gonna be that blue color. So you're able to distinguish that on the timeline as well. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.